Did you know that slow walkers are more likely to have urge incontinence? Slow gait speed in older adults is also associated with an increased risk for falls and fractures, functional dependence, multimorbidity, and even mortality. 13 to 50% of women older than 60 years of age and 43 to 80% of all older nursing home residents experience urinary incontinence. A meta-analysis showed a significant association between urinary incontinence and falls in patients with urgency incontinence and in those with stress incontinence. The causality between urge incontinence and falls remains unexplained, but one hypothesis is that the strong desire to void could change gait parameters like reduced velocity and stride width, which could lead to an increased risk of falls. The association between stress incontinence and falls may result from a general alteration in the striated muscle physiology in the aging population with the loss of more type 2 muscle fibers post-menopause. In addition, restricted mobility in older women may limit their ability to change positions to prevent the leaks from stress incontinence, and with limited mobility and poor balance, they may fall. Waking at night to peak can also increase fall risk, and many women wake multiple times a night to pee, especially when dealing with blood sugar issues or sleep apnea. From these studies, we can hypothesize that optimizing blood sugar and sleep, improving posture and alignment by lengthening calves and hamstrings, releasing tension in the pelvic floor, using minimal footwear, getting consistent with pelvic floor muscle training, participating in resistance training for power and balance, and bladder training as well as increasing the speed of walking could help improve pelvic health and bladder control, reduce fall risk and improve overall health as well. I recommend a daily walk with minimal shoes that allow your feet to work optimally instead of being cast into tight toe boxes with positive heels. I also recommend checking out my buff muff method.